of what they're saying. El disrespecto. He was on the Spanish press. They didn't face off until the win. Purposely stay away from each other. Now they're in the ring. They got to go toe to toe. I think Anadi looks more relaxed in this fight than the first time they fought. More confident. He knows what he's going to do. I'm trying to see what Canelo's trying to do. He's going with a better man, bigger man. Canelo should be jabbing to the body, trying to slide it off that. Okay. Um, and his jab match, he's not going to win. Canadi's got the longer arms. He's taller. So you got to initiate. Canelo's got to initiate an attack and shorten that distance. I think when, when Canelo flashes that jab, he does land. If you look on the, the right cheekbone of, of Gennady, you see it, it's red, and there's a it nice red. Quick and then hook side it. uppercut from, or a left hook from Gen Canelo Alvarez, and the redness on the right cheekbone of Gennady Golovkin is evident here in the second round. That's from jabs, and that's from hooks. Yeah, Canelo right now being effective. Another one for Canelo. He's got the speed. Overhand right from Gennady. Jazz from Canelo. Wild swing in the midst, countered by Canelo nicely. Yeah, Gennady's quick on the two. Even in the first case, he was quick on the two. Um, Abel Sanchez told him to think. That's how you beat speed. I'm a speed guy, no. Think, think, think. Check clip from Gennady. Double and triple in the jab, Canelo. Solid left hook from Gennady. More redness to the right cheek from Gennady Golovkin with a minute to go in the second round. I don't like that Golovkin is allowing Alvarez to walk him back as much as he has so far in this fight. 28-year-old Canelo Alvarez looking quicker yeah. and definitely younger right now. And he's punching with more conviction in these early rounds than he did in the first fight. In the first fight, he was loading up. In this fight, he's punching quicker, faster, and more accurate. Yeah. Although he just missed right there with the left hook. He's not hook. doing Abel Sanchez acts with the feints. To the solar plex from Canelo, followed by overhand right. He's not feinting. I don't think those blows are doing anything, but they, later on, they definitely, oh, that was a nice shot by Triple G. And, um, yeah, those blows take a toll later on, don't they, Kevin? Yeah, those body shots that Canelo's throwing family uh, can take a, t a toll later on in the fight. Uh, Canelo's throwing pretty hard, accurate shots. Ten seconds, And I actually give this round to Canelo. Just off the cleanness of his shots. These are close rounds. I don't envy the judges tonight. They got a lot of pressure on them, and these guys... It's parry shots. Catch and shoot. I don't see much difference in preparation here, but I do see Abel with the knockout. That's so, what Abel Sanchez told them. Knock him out. Don't give him too much respect. Yeah, that's what happened the first fight. You gotta allow Canelo to throw. Catch and shoot. That'll take away from him. Because as long as you make it as a boxing match, Canelo has an opportunity. A huge opportunity. So the thing is here, yeah, they exchange uppercuts with Triple G's waiting and Canelo's landing. Triple G waiting, Canelo landing. The voice of Kevin Kelly, here ringside in Las Vegas. Big overhand right for Canelo misses. Yeah, G's got to have a, a more step to the side, step left, step right. Um, it's turning into a fight. It really is turning into a fight. Both men are definitely punching with bad intentions. Abel Sanchez, Gennady's trainer, said we don't want Canelo Alvarez to run, as he claimed that he did in the first fight. Canelo standing right there and throwing. And I wonder if that hook was to stun oh, yes. Triple G momentarily. Yeah, the key to this fight is Canelo's speed is definitely a problem for G. It's definitely a problem. Uh, it's making G a little bit miss some shots. A little apprehensive. Uh, he's not sticking to the jack. Strong right from Triple G. Hook from Canelo. Well, it didn't land, so he's not landing any shots. Well, the hook landed, the jab did it. He's got to step around a little bit. Canelo's doing a great fight, a very effective fight. Uh, both men are sent to the ring. That's what you want. You want these guys in the middle go at it. But G's not going to the bottom. 
See, the head moves, the body don't. So both men should go to the body. But Alvarez is such a quick counter puncher, it's dangerous going to his body because you leave your head exposed. Not if you bend your knees. <laughs> if you bend your knees, you get down there. So don't reach down, bend down. You see, Gennady Golovkin can take deep breaths here and roll in the third round. Nice combo from Canelo Alvarez, followed by Stiff Jazz. And the jab from Canelo has been really strong early in the fight. And I see Triple G breathing a little bit, a little bit wild. Just working out, working out. Right? It's almost like he did not expect this from Canelo Alvarez, and he's feeling psychological stress. 28-year-old Canelo Alvarez turned pro at 15. He's fought some of the best in, the, in his sport. Like you mentioned it all week long. Well, some fighters that even his promoter is saying, no, don't take it. Harry Zondi and Lara be one of them because of the styles. Canelo telling the Spanish press, I'm not trying to be better than Chavez. I just want to be the best Canelo Alvarez. That's what every standard that Mexican fighters have when they go up against and they're making a legacy. I tell you what, he's showing excellent form right now. I've given him the edge in the first three rounds. I just think he's punched with more conviction. He's been the he, he's, he's been the one in command in the center of the ring. He's been the one not to allow Golovkin to apply his usual pr pressure. Much more aggressive Canelo Alvarez than we saw a year ago. Yeah, well, he knows he's got to take the belt in order to get it. He's not going to get it, but he's also set himself up to get hit with more shots. Now, by going forward, he's giving Triple G what Triple G wants. What an uppercut by Gennady Golovkin. Best shot of the night for him. You were saying it, Kelly. Uh, he's been himself up for that. Now, like I said, as he opens up, G's going to get more down. And that's a good thing. I want to see what we're going to see what Canelo's made of. Well, we all want to see some violence here. We're going to see what Canelo's made of here in this fight. G, I see G go to the body. Yes, and then right there. But more body, and Canelo's going to the body. This is turning into a good fight. Overall boxing match, as you were saying, Kevin Kelly. And this is what Oscar De La Hoya was saying to Bernard Hopkins and I during the Facebook show during the weigh-in, how both of these guys became headhunters last year. They didn't go to the body. But both of these guys have strong beards. They can take those punches, but you have to go to the body. We're you have to go downstairs. Here. Neither man is going downstairs. This has been a good round for Triple G. Yes, he's actually circling the younger man who is remaining in the center of the ring. He's got to keep him turning. Now, when he keeps him turning, he's got the advantage. That's what he's doing. But he's got to keep him turning. I'm not used to seeing this from, from Golovkin, but it's interesting. It's all about adjusting. And this has been a hotly contested round. Slipping punches. 25 seconds to go in the fourth round. Body shot from Canelo. That's a good one. And he put everything into that hook to the body. Set and turn. Maximum leverage there. You know, one thing about G, though, G could take Canelo's shot. So we got to see. It's back and forth. It's turning into a great fight. And it's heating up, getting better and better. T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Right, everybody in the sold-out T-Mobile Arena having a great time as this fight is heating up. We're in the fifth round. Middleweights going at it. Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin. Now, see, the thing here is this. What both men need to do. Gennady Golovkin, after his combination, needs to come back with the jab. That's number one. What Canelo needs to do is the same thing I'm telling Gennady Golovkin to do. Come back with his jab. They're both all throwing power shots. Nobody's correcting their body. So if they throw a jab after the combination, they'll be on balance. Uppercut from Gennady, followed by a left hook. Canelo with a small cut on his left eyebrow. Gennady with swelling on his right cheekbone. A little bit of blood from his nose. Wild swing and a miss. A couple of those from Canelo. Followed with a strong right. The more... Heavier shots have been thrown with intention tonight from both fighters. More than we did see in the first fight. Yeah, both guys want to do damage. But they're boxing. They're, they're not throwing caution to the wind. Boxing is a key word. 
You know, one thing that Canelo's doing, he's advancing, so she's got to find a way to stop him, and that's with a jab. Um, Canelo, I give Canelo a lot of credit. He's going forward. He's initiating the action. Uh, he looks like he wants to take the belt. Halfway through the fifth round, the Canelo crowd is getting loud. There was a Triple G chant that's been shouted down by the Canelo fans. And mind you, there are a lot of Mexicans that are also Gennady Golovkin fans. They're not seeing the Mexican style from no. Triple G tonight. But he's showing us some different uh, wrinkles in his game. I like how he would he jabs and moves to his left and keeps Canelo turning. I like how he sneaks the little uppercuts in when he's in range after that jab. Then it fights all about positioning. Uh, Canelo is initiating the action, but the thing is, Triple G is also acknowledging what he's doing. Canelo's doing the time. It looks like Golovkin is out jabbing him in this round and in the previous round. Which is what Kevin wanted him to do, more of the jabs. They stand in the middle of the ring. A two for Canelo to the bottom. It's just so hard to put combination together against either fighter. Canelo swinging at the ball back of the ball. Uh, but Canelo is fighting the fight that his team wanted to fight. He's doing a good job. Uh, Canelo is very effective in this fight. Does this I, make you think, does, does Triple G's actions make you think that in the back of his mind, in the back of his trainer's mind, they didn't expect Canelo to stand his ground as much as he has in this rematch? No, uh, what happened was, Canelo is sticking the game plan. That's what he's doing. It could throw your game plan, too. I got it scored unofficially. I got one point to G. 48-49. I get the last two rounds to Triple G. I thought he's, he's not going to attack. He's actually starting to get comfortable with, um, as the first fight did, and later rounds, and he's taking more risk. I've got Canelo slightly ahead. I, I scored the first three rounds for Canelo, the last two rounds for Golovkin, but I think round five could have gone the other way. Especially the way it ended with Canelo landing from the bigger punches. Could he, did he do enough to steal that round? I would like possible. to punch that. I would, those were eye-catching punches. Yeah, I want to see the punch stats definitely, um, and see where we lie. Because the connect percentages, they, it, it goes back and forth. Sometimes Triple G got the NFL, and Canelo got that one. Good back and forth action between Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin with the middleweight belt on the line. Referee Benji Seven warns them about the head blast. In the middle of the ring where they've been most of the night. You want your chance to go at it. Want them to trade. They're doing it. Exactly. They are trading heavy leather. The Las Vegas onmakers had the over-under on this 11 and a half front. That's how much they expected here. Gennady Golovkin went into this fight a slight favorite. The biggest odd was, would there be a draw? 17 to 1 is what I saw. And Gennady breathing heavy again here in the sixth round. Step back, opened his mouth really wide. Yeah, he's going backwards, so and Canelo's going to the body. And yeah, Canelo has connected very well to the body in this round. Solid overhand right from Canelo. A lot of shot for Canelo. Final seconds of the round. Crowd. Seventh round. Tight round, close round. Both fighters with a heavy sweat. Both of them with some blood drawn. The yeah, Canelo is getting more confident. It's coming harder for G to be effective. Um, Canelo's going to be real effective. I mean, he's keeping his ground, so you yeah. got to give him credit. He looks strong. His he, game plan is working. He's the faster fighter, and he's definitely boxing and punching with more confidence. And Triple G was breathing very hard and fast between rounds. 28-year-old Canelo Alvarez, 36-year-old now, Gennady Golovkin. 
You see the younger fighter taking control. There's Canelo Alvarez. Moving Gennady with the body shot. It's a nice hook that uh, the left hand landed. Canelo ate it. Took it well. Yeah. Been a good fight so far. No clinching. Just give each other room to work with. It's a very good fight. That's what you want to see. This man got to change. They're engaging. Um, I, like I said, it looks like it looks like Canelo is strong, but I know those shots coming from G are very powerful shots that normally knock the fighters out. They need a lot tonight to knock somebody down. Canelo making an effort, conscious effort, to use that hook. Canelo looking a little bit winded now. Yeah. But can Gennady Golovkin take advantage of it? Yeah, he's got to keep that pace. The thing is with, with uh, Canelo, he's got to keep that pace. I'll tell you what, which is hard to do. Alvarez has earned enough respect from Golovkin that Golovkin is not trying to march forward and push him back to those ropes. He's not trying to pin him this time. See, it's easier for Canelo to back Triple G up than Triple G to back, back up Canelo. For the longest, Canelo's back to G up. He's gonna have some energy. It's hard to go backwards and forward. Well, we're not used to seeing Golovkin back up. No. Or even step around this as a like the most we've ever seen him do this. Last shots from Golovkin. Canelo with some blood from the left eyebrow trickling down. Both fighters. Three here in the seventh round. Both guys showing some really nice craft, not just with their their offense, but with their footwork and their defense. The footwork, the precision in it. This is a high-level championship fight. The fundamentals between these two. And Seven contested. Seventh round coming to an end. Oh yeah, it's heating up. Yeah, it is. And they cheer each other. The battle gets out of his corner, blesses himself for the eighth round. He's got to play a Triple G to take the initiative. He's got to start. It's called walking your man down. He's got to throw a combo and walk forward. That's how you get another man to go down. That's what Canelo's doing. Canelo's walking Triple G down. And that's the initiative that he has. Watch your heads. Heard Abel Sanchez to fight this guy. Stay in the pocket. The instructions for the eighth round for Gennady Golovkin. And they're staying nice and tight. Right hand for Canelo. Canelo with that high guard. Solid right for Canelo. And right to the ear of Triple G. Yep. And that left eye is looking kind of angry. You're seeing some abrasion around the, the left eye of, of Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, G's not going to the body. Canelo's going to the body real well. It looks, you know, Canelo's doing very well in this fight. Hey, Canelo's better fighting Mexican style than Mayweather fighter. Yeah, that's right, Mayweather style. He's much better at it. Hey, you know what? He's fighting the way a, a young veteran should fight. Yeah. A young man who's just entering his physical prime. This is how he should fight. 52 fights in his career as a professional for Canelo Alvarez. 39 for Gennady Golovkin. Canelo Alvarez from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. He trains in the San Diego County area. The only trainers ever had Eddie and Chepo Ray Nelson. They found him as a kid where he walked into their gym. But from humble beginnings, now he said, I enjoy the good life. I like the Dolce Gabbana, the Versace. We've got the beautiful horses that can do dancing tricks. He's That's fighting like a poor man, though. Exactly. He has That's not lost that hunger, though. Yeah. I mean, you can he's just the outside. Out. He might have to still cheat, but he's got the hunger. Yeah. He's yeah, just missing those shots. Runs. He's taking a lot of energy out of his body. Canelo with blood trickling down his left eyebrow. Gennady Golovkin swollen from both cheekbones. Now we're seeing the effects of this accurate power punching. I tell you what, though, Triple G for a 36-year-old man. This is a very high punch output. This is a, a, a torrid pace. Canelo's keeping up so far. 
But it, you have to wonder, can he sustain it during the late rounds? We're getting into oh, we the four final quarter. To go. Yes. There's still four rounds to go. Push. And, uh... Yeah, second go. Ten seconds. Both men uh, really see a lot of energy. Canelo slowed down greatly, too. Yeah, particularly like in the, in the last minute of this round. Gennady Golovkin bringing very heavy in his corner. Abel Sanchez on us. Mix it up. Come on. Abel with instruction also trying to motivate this fighter. Absolutely. He wants to cut him to come on strong down this final stretch. The uh, cut over the left eye of Canelo Alvarez looks really bad. That's something that could get worse. Eddie Reynoso, the trainer, is also the cut man for Canelo Alvarez. They have a small circle. So Canelo trying to go to the body. Gennady saying, let's go. The exchange jabs. Gennady picking up the pace here. Lazy right hand from Gennady. Canelo answers with a shot to the body. Both guys are feeling the burn of fatigue. Yeah. Both guys are, are, are losing their footing on the, the Tecate paint uh, in the center of the canvas. Both guys are standing and trading. Uh, big mouse underneath the right eye. We're not even looking at it. It was red. Now it's, you see the black and blue. Both men exchanging. This is a real fight. Real fight breaking out. But like I said, I think Canelo is slowing down. G's going at the same pace. Um, it's becoming a good fight. I mean, the early part of this fight, Canelo did very well. Canelo is trying to catch, I mean, Jimmy trying to catch up right now. He's doing more punches, but he's fighting like he don't have the belts. <laughs> Canelo's fighting like he got the belts. Golovkin is working very hard. He's trying to punch for three minutes of each round. Canelo picking his shots a little bit more. That's what Abel wants. The conditioning factor, you don't have to worry about these guys putting in the water. But when you get into the ring, as Kevin, you were saying, those shots early on will take the toll later. Yeah, Canelo's done last shots. Very effective. He's been more accurate. And it's time to slug it out. With 30 seconds to go in the ninth. The fight has been had fun. It's a little complaining about. You see a nasty cut on the left eyebrow. They're both breathing heavy here in the ninth. <laughs> Who's going to win the round? That's the question. That's another one. That's a tough round to judge. 10 seconds to go in the ninth. We're going to be headed to the championship round. Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin, putting on the show in their rematch in Las Vegas. Canelo with a lot of Vaseline on that left eyebrow that's cut. Gennady Golovkin swelling underneath both eyes. Golovkin swelling starting in the second round. I think Eddie Reynoso is doing a tremendous job between rounds in this fight, as he did in the first fight. What about the advice he gave Canelo where, hey, the first minute of the round, just block, play defense, and don't even try to exchange with him. I think, that's an energy, I think it's an energy conservation strategy. And he might have heard him, but he ain't living. Canelo's trying to throw some hooks and combinations here as he starts to tap. Much to the delight of the crowd. These middle these middleweights are giving the crowd something to cheer about. Huh? I'm spinning. Right hand from Kanoka. Number nine for the crowd. One, one, two, blocked by Triple G. Jab for good luck. Here. Another jab for Triple G. Right hand Canelo. The jab is still the best punch in Golovkin's arsenal. And it's the punch he's landed most consistently in this rematch. Oh, the right hand from Gennady Golovkin. That right hand might have shook Canelo just a little bit. It might have. Canelo has his hands down. It might have saved him, and Canelo still has his hands down. Halfway through the 10th round, his corner told him not to exchange with him in the beginning. He did, and he's catching shots in the 10th. Solid right for Canelo. And now he's 
says no, makes a miss. Body shot from the Mexican. Solid round for Gennady Golovkin with a minute to go. Wow, these guys, this is warriors. They're both breathing heavy. They have to be arm weary. Their heads have to hurt from eating all these punches. Their hips and their body and their rib cage have to hurt from all the body shots. And they're still slugging away. Let me tell you something. This is what makes champions. We're in round 10. Both men are going at it. Uh, Triple G is trying to energy somewhere. Right? He's got to finish down the stretch to keep his titles. Canelo is getting a little bit weak up, but also he's having his moments. Bloody nose for Canelo here in the 10. This fight is starting to change focus. Because now, I have a score 87-87. I don't know who's winning this fight now, but <laughs> he just won this round. The fans are winning this one because it's heating up even more. Ten rounds in the books in Las Vegas. At the end, before the chance that we got cut off, Chippo or Eddie Bernardo talking to uh, Canelo Alvarez. You can't knock him out. That's what he said. You really? You cannot. Oh, who's that? They said that to Canelo. At the end, right before it cut off, he said, you cannot knock him out. So do they tell him that, Kevin, because they just want him to box? In their minds, they feel that their fighter's ahead in the scorecard. Well, don't want him to take any unnecessary risks? Well, psychologically, by telling him that, so they want to throw more punches and less power shots. But that's what they said in the start, which would be stats, be yeah. So what they're trying to do is kill rounds by keeping them more active. Because right now, Canelo is going backwards. Something happened that last round with Canelo. He, he, did, well, he ate a huge right hand. There's something changed in this fight. Well, look at him. He's on the road for the first time in this fight. He's been in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Now he's back in the middle. Right now, middle. something happened in that round 10 that's changed the, the momentum of this fight right now. Yeah, he told his corner he didn't get hurt on that punch. But is the fighter ever going to admit that he got hurt? I think that he was hurt. And now I'm seeing a change in his body, his temperament. And remember, as he's getting tired, Triple G is getting stronger. Because there it goes again. Yep, another solid there right now. Right 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 G's reading the clothes right now. Oh, his legs can look right there. Yeah, yeah Canelo's defense isn't there. He's not slipping these punches. Where's the head movement? His legs look weak for Canelo Alvarez. This doesn't look good for Canelo. Canelo Alvarez looks stronger right now. Canelo, hey, Canelo's showing he's got a warrior's heart, though. If you ever questioned his medal before, Please don't do that going forward. He's yeah. showing us a lot in this fight, and especially this round. A question that I'll give to him a lot of credit. Uh, he could be winning this fight as far as I know. But let me tell you something. Right now, it's becoming a fight in this championship round. A minute to go in the 11th. It's been all Gennady in this round. But Alvarez digging deep enough to make this an entertaining round. Can you go enough? get back in in this round. You never know what judges are looking at. Both fighters said that they wanted to win decisively. And right now we're sitting here. Rich side, we can't figure out what's going on. Yeah, these, are, these are not easy rounds to score. This is coming down to just digging to your heart, your will. The warrior spirit. And that, to me, that's boxing at its best. Yeah. When, they, when they push beyond the sport aspect of it, when they go beyond strategy and technique and lay their souls bare in that ring. But we're seeing right now, 10 seconds to go, an entertaining fight between Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin. And we go to the...